Hi and welcome to the third week of the six week beginner yogi course online. This week we are introducing vinyasa into your practice and the way we're doing that is teaching you how to do traditional sun salutations. So I'm going to give you a demo first and then we're going to break it down step by step by step and then at the end of class we'll have a little time to kind of flow through our sun salutations in our own time. So some of the poses that you saw in my demonstration of a sun salutation may be familiar with the addition of plank pose, which we haven't covered yet. We'll be covering that in today's class. And we're going to be breaking down the sun salutations into different phases so that we can build it up slowly. So when you're ready, go ahead and come to the top of your mat standing and we'll begin. So the first little sequence that we're going to learn, I'll give you a quick demo and then we'll get right into it. So to begin with, we're standing nice and tall, lengthening the tailbone down, having the hands in at heart center, taking a full breath in and out. As you inhale, arms will come up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest and forward fold. Halfway lift as we inhale. And then exhale as we fold down. Grounding down through the feet. Big inhale as we rise back up. And exhale, hands to heart center. So that's phase one that we're going to learn today. So if you're not already, standing with the feet a hip width apart, bringing the hands into heart center. Go ahead and lengthen the tailbone down towards the floor. So we're lengthening down, drawing the navel back just a little bit. Standing nice and tall, rolling the shoulders away from the ears. Take a nice deep full breath in. Exhale fully. On your next inhale, raise the arms up overhead and your gaze can just follow your fingertips. As you exhale, soften the knees, bring your chin to your chest and forward fold down. So we want to have our knees as bent as we need to so that we can rest our belly either close to or on the thighs. Let the head be heavy. And then go ahead and place your hands on top of your feet. So to come into our halfway lift, as we inhale, we begin to straighten the legs. And it's okay if the knees stay a little bit bent. We begin to straighten the legs, run the hands up the front of the shins, and then lengthen through the spine. So we have a flat back. When you get to your halfway point, pause. And then go ahead and roll the shoulders away from the ears, create a little bit more length, nice long neck, and just pause here. Go ahead and draw the navel back towards the spine. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, bend the knees and fold back over. Big inhale as you sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale, hands come back down into heart center. Let's try that again. Take an inhale, exhale fully. Inhale, arms raise up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest, forward fold. Bring your hands on top of your feet, but let your head be heavy at this stage. As you inhale, run the hands up the front of the shins. Begin to straighten the legs as you come into a nice flat back. 
Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Draw the navel back towards the spine. Inhale here. And exhale, fully fold. Ground down through your feet. Big inhale as you sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath here, nice deep full breath in. And exhale. Moving slightly faster this time. On your inhale, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest, forward fold. Hands on top of the feet. Inhale as you draw up. Nice flat back. Shoulders rolling away from the ears. And fold down. Ground down through the feet. Big inhale. Lift up. And exhale. Hands to heart center. Take a nice deep full breath in. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Arms up. Exhale. Bend the knees. Forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale, run the hands up the front of the shins. Exhale as you bend the knees and fold. Big inhale as you sweep the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Press the arms down by your side and pause for a few beats. So now we're going to move on through our sun salutation. So that's our first phase and now we're moving on to the second phase. But we're going to use our sun salutation to warm up. So instead of doing plank pose straight away, we're going to move into child's pose and then do a round with cat cow as well. So standing at the top of your mat, lengthen the tailbone down, standing nice and tall. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale fully. Next inhale, arms come up overhead. Gaze can follow your fingertips. Exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest and forward fold. Hands on top of the feet here. As you inhale, rise to your halfway lift, flat back. Exhale as you bend the knees and fold. Take a nice easy step back onto your hands and knees. And then bring the toes together, widen the space between the knees and sink back into your variation of child's pose. Pause here for five breaths. So remember, if your forehead isn't comfortably touching the floor, either use stacked fists or you can use a block. Very important that the forehead connects to something. Last breath here. From child's pose, we transition into downward facing dog. So come onto tabletop. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Tuck the toes when you're ready. Go ahead and lift the hips. And we pause in our downward facing dog for five breaths, each round of sun salutations. So we want to spread the fingers nice and wide, bend the knees, lift the tailbone. Breathing deeply through the nostrils, exhaling fully through the nostrils. Two more breaths here. The end of your next exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees and tiptoe up to the top of your mat. So we're walking into our standing forward fold. Feet are ahead width apart, knees are bent and we're just hanging out over our legs. Bring your hands to the top of your feet, preparing for your halfway lift. As you inhale, begin to straighten the legs. It's okay if they stay a little bit bent. Lengthen through the back, nice flat back here. Roll the shoulders away from the ears, draw the navel back. Take another inhale and exhale, fold. Ground down through the feet. Big inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath here. Inhale as you sweep the arms up. Exhale as you bend the knees, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back as you inhale. Exhale as you fold forward. Once again, come onto your hands and knees. And this time we're going to do five rounds of cat cow. So we begin with the nice flat back, hips over top of knees, shoulders over top of wrists. As you inhale, dip the belly, curl the tailbone and the crown of the head up. 
As you exhale, curl everything under. Push the mat away. Draw the navel back towards the spine. Inhale as you curl up. Exhale, curl under. Three more rounds in your own time. And when you're ready, lifting into your downward facing dog. Pausing here for five breaths. Now any time if downward facing dog becomes too much, you can spend your resting pose or your resting breaths in child's pose. If you would prefer, you could alternate between the two. Absolutely no problem. Otherwise, fingers spread nice and wide. Tailbone lifting up, heels reaching down. Breathing deeply. One more breath here. And we gaze forward, bend the knees, making your trip up to the top of your mat, having the feet a hip width apart, knees are bent into your standing forward fold. On your inhale, run the hands up the front of the shins, come to your halfway left, nice flat back, exhale, bend the knees, fold. Ground down through the feet, big inhale as you push, and exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath. Relax your arms down by your side. And now I'll give you a demo of plank pose before we get into, we add plank pose into our sun salutations. So for the first few rounds, we're going to come into plank pose from our hands and knees. And then as we get used to it, we will step back into plank pose. So first thing I'd like you to do is to, from tabletop, have the shoulders directly over top of the wrists. Fingers spread nice and wide apart. Your neck is nice and long, just staring down wherever's most comfortable for your gaze. And then I want you to go ahead and see if you can broaden through the upper back. So just take a moment to see if you can notice the difference between me kind of hanging out in my shoulders and broadening through the upper back. So it's almost like a very, very slight uh, cat pose. So this is cat pose. And then in our plank pose, we kind of want to just broaden through the upper back only. So another way of saying it is to uh, dome through the upper back or to see if we can spread the shoulder blades away from the spine. So just have a couple of little practice rounds to seeing if you can get that doming effect. And if it doesn't happen straight away, don't worry about it. We're practicing, so that's perfect. And then from there, keeping these shoulders over top of the wrists, squeeze the belly button, cinch in through the waist or draw the belly button back towards the spine. So effectively activate the core. And then without losing that core activation, go ahead and extend the right leg back, tuck the toes, lift the right kneecap. Check in to see whether your core is still activated. If it's not, then go ahead and squeeze the belly button. And then when you're ready, extend the left leg. So from here, we should be completely active, still active through the core, shoulders are still over top of the wrists and our tailbone is lengthening down, we're pressing through the back of the heels. Nice long line in our plank pose. Taking one more breath here, and then gently lower the knees, and let's just come back into child's pose for a moment. Come back up onto your hands and knees. And now we're going to practice coming from high plank to low plank, coming into cobra, and then coming back into downward facing dog, that part of the little sequence in the sun salutations. So let's start from the beginning. I'm gonna have the shoulders over top of the wrists, fingers spread nice and wide apart. Neck is nice and long, just looking down wherever's most comfortable. Go ahead and squeeze the belly button or draw the navel back towards the spine. When you feel ready, extend the right leg long, lift the kneecap, make sure the core is still active, and then extend the left leg. And just pause here for a moment, doming through the upper back, broadening through the upper back. 
Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, lower the knees down just gently. And then we have two choices here, and I'm going to demo both of them for you. The first choice is that we hug the elbows in, and as we tilt the pelvis forward, we bring the thighs down and bend the elbows at the same time, and we kind of just roll down into our low plank or preparing for cobra pose. The second option from plank pose, so let me just align here. The second option, which will be more of a challenge for you, is to inhale, lower the knees, and as we exhale, hug the elbows in and bring the chest and the chin down to the floor. So obviously this requires a little bit more strength in the arms, and from here we come into cobra pose. So you have two options there. You can practice whichever one feels best for you today. So let's prepare by coming into our plank pose, shoulders over top of the wrists, fingers spread nice and wide, neck is long, activating the core, extending the right leg first, lifting the kneecap, and then the left. As we inhale, we lower the knees. As we exhale, we bring the torso down, however it feels best today. And then we'll pause here to prepare for our cobra pose. So you can come up onto your forearms if you like while I demo cobra pose for you so you can watch what I'm doing. But it's a slightly different cobra than what we learned in weeks one and two, mainly to do with what our feet are doing. So in this cobra, we have our feet maybe about a foot apart, not even that, maybe about that much apart. And we're pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. So as we press the tops of the feet into the mat, I lift my kneecaps, press the tops of my thighs and my pubic bone down. So this is my lower half of the body acting as my foundation here. From the waist up, everything stays the same as our other cobra that we've practiced. So we bring our hands underneath our shoulders, rest our forehead down, hug the elbows in, roll the shoulders away from the ears, and on the inhale, we lift the heart. As we exhale, we lower down and then press up onto the hands and knees, tuck the toes, enter downward facing dog. So let's put that next little part of the sequence together and we'll do a few rounds of sun salutations. So beginning at the top of your mat, having the feet a hip width apart, go ahead and lengthen the tailbone down, standing nice and tall. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale fully. As you inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale as you bend the knees, chin to chest, forward fold. On your inhale, run the hands up the front of the shins, flat back. Exhale as you bend the knees and fold. Place your hands on either side of the feet. Gently come onto your hands and knees. Aligning yourself for your plank pose, shoulders over top of wrists, long neck, squeeze the belly button, extend the right leg first and then the left. Doming through the upper back, so pressing the mat away and broadening through that upper back area. On your inhale, lower the knees. As you exhale, hug the elbows in, lower the chest and the chin down. Extend the legs long, hands are underneath the shoulders, tops of the feet are pressing down, knees are lifted, thighs and pubic bone pressing down too. Elbows in, shoulders rolling back. On your inhale, lift the heart up. And exhale, bow. Press up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes, and lift your hips into downward facing dog. Five breaths here. Nice deep bend of the knees. Fingers are spread nice and wide apart, pressing down through the pads of the fingers, through the knuckles, lifting the tailbone. Heart's pressing down towards the toes. Tummy is pressing towards the thighs. One more breath here. Gazing forward, bend your knees, tiptoe up to the top of your mat, into your standing forward fold. 
On your inhale, come to your halfway lift, draw the navel back towards the spine, shoulders rolling away from the ears. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Big inhale, press through the feet as you come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Pause here, take a breath. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale. Easy step back onto your hands and knees. Bringing yourself into plank pose when you're ready. Making sure that everything feels active. Keep the core active as you come into your plank pose. Lengthen the tailbone down. Lift the kneecaps. Take an inhale, lower the knees. Exhale as you bring the chest and the chin down. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Lift the knees. Press the thighs and the pubic bone as you inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. And step back into your downward facing dog. Five breaths here. So when we come into a more vinyasa style of class, this is where your downward facing dog become, becomes more of a resting pose as opposed to a strengthening pose. So we want to take nice deep full breaths in and out while we're in our downward facing dog. And remember at any time if you would prefer you could come into child's pose as your resting pose. Last breath here. And go ahead and gaze forward, bend those knees, taking a little walk up to the top of your mat, standing forward fold. On your inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Big inhale sweeps you up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath in. Exhale. Last round, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, run the hands up the front of the shins, long back, and exhale. Stepping back onto your hands and knees, shoulders over top of wrists, squeeze the belly button, extend the right leg and then the left, doming through the upper back, lengthening the tailbone down. Take an inhale, lower your knees, hug the elbows in towards each other as you gently lower the chest and chin down. Untuck the back feet, hug the elbows and roll the shoulders down as you inhale, lift up. And exhale, bow. Pressing up into your downward facing dog and taking five breaths here. Grounding down through your hands. Keeping a bend in the knees, but maybe reaching the heels down a little further. Couple more breaths here. After your next exhale, gaze forward. Tiptoe up to the top of your mat, into your standing forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, flat back, shoulders rolling away from the ears. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Ground down through your feet, big inhale as you push up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Pause here, take a breath. Relax your arms down by your side. And just stand quietly for a moment. In this next phase, I'm now going to cue you to step straight back into plank from standing forward fold. So just remembering that if you don't want to do this at the moment, that's perfectly fine. You can come into plank from your hands and knees if you prefer to practice that way. You could even uh, skip these rounds if you felt like it and do child's pose instead of the high to low plank to cobra. You could do a round with cat cow if you like. So just always modifying it to suit you. 
Uh, from here on out, I will be queuing stepping straight back into plank just to keep everyone safe, but you can always modify it to do whatever version that you're comfortable with today. So if you're not there already, go ahead and bring yourself to the top of your mat, hands in at heart center, just lightly pressing the thumbs against the chest. Take a breath to prepare, full breath in and out. On your next inhale, raise the arms up overhead. As you exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest, forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, flat back, shoulders rolling away from the ears. And exhale, bend the knees and fold. Place the hands on either side of the feet and step the right foot back first and then the left. So we're straight into planks. So we want to have shoulders over top of breasts. Squeeze the belly button, lengthen the tailbone down. See if you can press through the heels. Take an inhale, lower the knees. Exhale, hug the elbows in, bring the chest and the chin down. Untuck the back feet, press the tops of the feet into the mat, lift your kneecaps, press the thighs and the pubic bone down. Hug the elbows in, roll the shoulders away from the ears and inhale into your cobra. Exhale as you bow. And lift up into your downward facing duck. Five breaths here. Option to come into child's pose if you wish. Wherever you are, whether it's down dog or child's pose, breathing in deeply. Breathing out completely. Three more breaths here. End of your next exhale, gaze forward, bend the knees, tiptoe up to the top of your mat, into your standing forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale, flat back. Exhale as you fold. Big inhale, sweeps the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath in. Exhale fully. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, chin to chest, forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, fold. Easy step back into your plank pose. Activate the core, dome through the upper back, lift the kneecaps. Inhale, lower your knees. Exhale as you hug the elbows in, come all the way down. Inhale, elbows in. Shoulders rolling away from the ears. Exhale as you bend down. Inhale, hug the elbows in, lifting the heart. Exhale as you bow. And making your way into your downward facing dog. Pausing here for five breaths. Fingers are spread nice and wide apart, grounding down through the hands. Bend those knees as you inhale. Hike the tailbone high and reach the heels down towards the floor. Two more breaths here. Gazing forward, bending the knees, tiptoeing up to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale as you sweep the arms up overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathing in here. Exhaling fully. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale as you bring the hands down either side of the foot. Stepping back into your plank pose. Shoulders over top of wrists, squeeze the belly button, lengthen the tailbone down. Inhale, lower your knees, exhale, bring the chest and chin down. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, inhaling as you lift into your cobra pose. Exhale, bow down and press back into your downward facing dog. Five breaths here.
Last breath. Gazing forward, bend those knees, making your way up to the top of the mat. Feet are a hip width apart, knees are bent generously. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Big inhale sweeps you up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Release your arms down by your side and just stand quietly for a moment. We're going to do five more rounds of sun salutations to finish the class up. And in these five rounds, I'm not going to do any talking. I'm going to be doing the sun salutations with you, but I'm going to just kind of let you do the practice yourself. So if you forget the moves, don't worry about it. Either make it up or you can gaze forward and have a look and see where I'm up to. Uh, if you want to add variations such as your child's pose or your cat cow, or coming down onto your hands and knees and coming into your plank pose, you're more than welcome to. Please just take your time, go at whatever pace you want to go at. And then once we've finished our five rounds of sun salutations, we're just going to stand quietly at the top of the mat with the eyes closed for a few minutes, just to kind of let everything sink in and just see how we feel after the five rounds of sun salutations. So when you're ready, Standing with the feet a hip width apart, go ahead and lengthen the tailbone down, gently draw the belly back towards the spine just a little way. Bring your hands in at heart center, lightly pressing your thumbs against your chest. Take a nice deep full breath in to prepare. Exhaling fully. And on your next inhale, raising the arms up overhead and beginning your five rounds of sun salutations.
Once you've finished your five rounds, just let your arms fall down to your sides. Close the eyes over. Let the breath just be natural. Scanning the body, just noticing how you're feeling. Any sensations around the body. Gently blinking open the eyes. And however you need to, just bringing yourself down onto your back, hugging the knees into the chest. Once you're comfortably on your back with your knees into the chest, maybe just giving the knees a little hug, rolling from side to side, finding that little sweet spot to massage. And then when you're ready, bring the soles of the feet down to the floor. Bring your arms out nice and wide, palms facing downwards. And we're just going to let the knees gently drop down to the right on our next exhale. You can keep the gaze up or you could turn the head over to look over towards the left if you like. Wherever you are, just closing the eyes. Pausing here for a few beats. On your next inhale, bringing the knees through center and then just softly letting them drop over to the left, turning your gaze out over to the right if you like, closing the eyes. Bring the knees back to center. Then you can bring your arms down alongside you once again. Bring the soles of the feet into touch. Let the knees drop open and we'll just pause here in our reclining butterfly for a few moments. Feel free to do whatever feels most comfortable with the arms. They can be alongside you, a little bit away from the body. One hand on your navel, other hand on your heart. Or you could even bring the arms up overhead taking opposite elbows with opposite hands. And wherever you are, taking a moment to close the eyes, take a nice deep full breath in. And exhale as you just relax into this pose.
pausing here for five more breaths. And just using your hands to help the knees to close over. Extend the legs nice and long. And come into your Shavasana. So having the feet about a hip width apart, if not more, letting the toes hang out, arms a little bit away from the torso, palms facing up. Go ahead and lift the chest, flatten the shoulder blades down. Okay, nice deep full breath in. And as you exhale, beginning to relax the whole body. Letting all the heavy parts of the body melt into the mat. As you exhale, the back of the head weighs down heavily. The shoulders, the chest, the spine. The hips are heavy, backs of the heels. Whole body beginning to relax. Begin to deepen your breath. Nice deep full breath into the belly. Roll the breath up into the chest. One big wave of breath. Exhaling fully. Take a couple more rounds. Nice deep full breaths in and out. Beginning to wiggle your fingers, your toes, maybe turning your head from side to side. Taking the arms up overhead, drawing the legs together, take a full body stretch. Bending the knees and turning over onto your right side. And just pausing here for a moment. Keeping your eyes closed if you can, gently pressing yourself up into a comfortable seat. Feel free to use any blocks or cushions that you need to. Sitting up nice and tall, bringing your hands into heart center, lightly pressing your thumbs against your chest. Let the features of the face be soft. Breath is just natural and calm.
Bringing your chin down to your chest, giving yourself a big smile for your practice today, a smile for trying something new, and bringing your thumbs to your forehead, honoring yourself for your practice. Bowing together, saying to one another, Namaste. Well done.